My daily routine starts with a tour of the garden to make sure that everything is clean and get an idea of what needs to be done. Hi, I'm Roger Haynes. I'm the Rosarian here at Brookside Gardens. I've been the Rosarian here since 1980. Brookside Gardens is a 50 acre display garden for the public and it's free. We're open from sun up to sundown year round. My responsibility now is not just the roses, although it's still my main goal, my main love for, for gardening here. I'm a horticulturist, trained horticulturist, and I've been here for 41 years and I've enjoyed every minute of it. I actually fell in love with the garden when I first came here. I told the people when I was first hired that I was gonna work here until I found something better, but when they gave me the rose garden to work in, I determined that that was the best place to work. It's a lot of work, and when I first came here, it was my only responsibility. And I enjoyed it very much, and the people that come through are just in love with the roses, and that really makes me feel good too. To be able to have a quality product that the people can come and see and really enjoy it. The Rose Garden hasn't really changed much as far as the layout is concerned over the last 40 years because the hardscape is, is still all the same. The paths are in the same place, the beds are all the same. We have changed plants over the years because roses don't really last forever. The rose gets to be too old or too woody or not doing quite as well. I have the responsibility to take that rose out and replace it with another rose. A lot of the roses that I'm putting in now are more disease resistant and at the same time fragrant. Those are the two things that I'm really aiming for as far as roses, when I put them back in the ground for display here, I want a quality plant that does well and smells nice. It also depends on the time of day because when a rose first opens in the morning, the fragrance is an oil. And if it gets really hot, that oil will evaporate and it'll be gone. But as that rose is first opened in the morning, that's the time to actually catch it when it's most highly fragrant. The goal that I have is for people to be able to smell the rose garden from the parking lot. And this year, for the first time, I've actually had somebody that came up and told me they could smell the rose garden from the parking lot. So my goal has been achieved. They will bloom through sporadically through the summer, or they'll look nice. And then they'll put on another heavy flush, say September, middle of September, and then they'll be finished for the season. It's like art in the ground. We're open from sun up to sundown year round, and it's just a wonderful place to come and enjoy nature and the peace and quiet and the beautiful flowers.